Yo, what's up everybody? This is Big Boy and today I'm here to talk about YouTube and mainly the gaming community on YouTube because that is where my channel lies. So I've been thinking a lot lately about YouTube, about what I'm trying to do here and really just my passion gaming in general because with the next gen consoles out now it's kind of taking everything to a whole new level and a lot of people have been getting into mobile games like games on their phone a lot a lot of my friends have been doing that um, so I also wanted to talk about that and really just YouTube in general because a lot of people start YouTube just to make money and to be honest um, I, I'm a very social person when I'm around my friends I love making them laugh I love just talking to them and I love meeting new people and I also love gaming so I have a passion for gaming and also a passion to be social. So this seemed like a great way to combine the two. And I already had a lot of equipment lying around because I used to be part of a clan and a team. So we used to do recordings and have mics and all of that. And so I did have this equipment lying around. And a lot of my friends were doing YouTube, like I said uh, in a video a while ago. My friend is rapping on YouTube, and if you'd like to go support him or check out his music, my his link will be in my description below. So, getting into it, um, I first wanted to talk about big YouTubers, because YouTube is pretty much dominated by those with a lot of subscribers. And I think they have way too much influence over everybody, specifically the uh, the people in the gaming section of YouTube that have, like, four million followers like syndicate a lot of people take on his opinions as their own and I think that's a bad influence just on people in general you know because it learns or they learn it teaches them to just accept what other people think and not to think for themselves you know what I'm saying like they just absorb the opinion just because someone that they like has it that's that's like me absorbing one of my friends opinions as my own just because they had that opinion it's stupid right you wouldn't do that regularly with around your friends and your social life would you but yet people do it all the time on youtube and i think it's very stupid and i i think they have all like a huge impact on the gaming community not just on youtube the gaming community in general like, if the YouTubers have an opinion and a lot of other people follow them have the same opinion, then obviously it's going to have some sort of impact. And I just, I think it's bad that they have this amount of power and this amount of influence. I think YouTube should be a way to share things, not just force people to accept what what you think. Like, that's me trying to impress upon you guys that Call of Duty is terrible, and yet I post Call of Duty content. Which, I mean, I obviously don't think Call of Duty is terrible. I do dislike it a little bit lately, and you can check out a video of that on my channel that I posted a while ago. But, I mean, it's just, it seems stupid to me that they have this amount of power and the ability to influence the gaming industry however they see fit. Because if 4 million people are following the Syndicate Project and all of a sudden he decides that he hates Call of Duty, then uh, 3 million of that 4 million decide they don't like Call of Duty, and then their friends decide they don't like Call of Duty, it's, it's like a wildfire. It will just spread. And so I think this has to get under control, like the whole YouTube deal. And I'm not saying YouTube is bad. I love YouTube, obviously. I am in YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I love doing it. It's a passion of mine. It's a way for me to mix my passion of being social and my passion of playing video games together. I love it. I love the idea of people sitting down and watching you talk while you play a video game or while you... It's, it's just a great way to share your thoughts and ideas and stuff. So I, I think it's like... I, th I think, honestly, I think YouTube is great, but it's just... I think the bigger YouTubers have way too much power. I know it sounds kind of weird to call it power, but really that's that's what it is. They can influence people however they th they think and however they see fit and however they want to. I mean, I I think a lot of people need to learn to think on their own and I'm not some conspiracist or anything, but I'm just sharing what I think. And 
I, I mean, I'm not trying to change any of your opinions. I'm, I don't want to alter how you think. I'm just giving you information about my thoughts. And to be honest, I, that's not what I want with my channel. I don't want to influence you guys and make you people think differently. Because, I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, obviously, specifically in gaming. I'm a gamer. I love gaming. It's a passion, so I obviously watch YouTube videos about it, and I mean, I share a lot of same thoughts, similar thoughts, but not all of them, and I think it's kind of stupid how they have this much power to just change pretty much the entire gaming industry on a whim, on a thought. If, if somebody pisses them off, they can pretty much just change that gaming company forever, because I mean, just imagine if three or four huge YouTubers got together and decided they weren't going to play Call of Duty anymore. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, a lot more people would want to play Battlefield instead of Call of Duty. So I just, it, it worries me. And I know that it may seem stupid to you guys, and I don't mean to insult any big YouTubers or challenge them or do anything like that. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. And I'm not saying that their followers are stupid and don't think for themselves I'm just sharing my thoughts so for the future of my channel honestly I'm not in it for the money and I know that might seem contradictory for you guys you may think well he why else did I start YouTube and like I said in the beginning of the video it's because I have a passion for being social I have a passion for gaming and I had this equipment lying around and a lot of my other friends are on YouTube or are very interested in starting YouTube so I thought why not it's a way to take up my spare time which I don't have a lot of but it's a hobby and I guess I needed one so the future of this channel isn't about making money it's not about gaining a huge following it's just a hobby for me to do and whether or not it blows up it it's really insignificant to me I mean obviously I would love if I could do this as a full-time job because I absolutely love it it's amazing but it's it's not something that I'm really shooting for uh, I mean I have other things in my life I play football I have a girlfriend I have school so I mean it's not it's not like I can put out a video every day like these huge youtubers and then do nothing else I mean I'm busy and obviously it's summer right now so if I'm busy during summer, imagine what it'll be like during a school year. So I hope that if you guys do subscribe to me, you can you're able to deal with that like a video once every two days. Or I mean, I'm gonna try my best, but I can't guarantee anything. And I'm not a huge YouTuber. If I was, I would be able to give you guys two, three videos a day. But it's like a video every two days or a video every. I mean, it's pretty much whenever I can, whenever I'm able whenever I have time so basically my goal for this whole YouTube thing and this YouTube channel in general big boy gaming my goal for that is to pretty much have fun and enjoy it enjoy my subscribers make new friends meet new people and just have fun because in my opinion that's what's like that's what life is about you gotta have fun without fun it's just boring so until next time, guys, this has been Big Boy. Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Let me know what your opinions are. I would love to hear them, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.